Not feeling great. Combination of stayed up too late last night and it's really hot in here because my C doesn't work and my stomach hurts and I don't know why. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably not be streaming for very long, but oh. Okay, let me make sure that the CD is mounted. How embarrassing. I didn't even notice. Let's see if that works. Do I have to restart DOSBox? Uh, type escape to exit. Okay, let's restart DOSBox maybe here. Maybe we'll just try again. No. Great. That just shows up blank. Great. So let's try that again. Still can't see it. That's interesting. Okay, it doesn't even see a disc mounted. What have I done? I don't know. Let's try it again. It was a great, great start of the stream here. Let's make sure it's there. Okay. We're good. Really been since the 18th? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, now the speed is right. I just always forget that it starts with too many cycles. What are we doing right now? I'm waiting for a ship to get to, um,. Turns, waiting eight turns with a human pilot going to beta three. Let's make sure. Oh. Okay, so we're building another power plant here. Yeah. 
Actually, you know, I think we can afford to. Let's just wait a turn and see how um, how much that tanks our ore production. Really, that's it. Okay, cool. We'll just leave it like this for now. Then. Nothing sending to the Calypso anymore. Not do that though. Oh. 
Okay, we still have level 1 stuff here. Okay, that's good enough for now. I guess one of our probes is a babby ship. Clear them all.
out of the way, you seaweed. Okay, and just one more. That's what we need, though. Um, okay, we can't build one Billy base just yet. But we can build this. Cool. How are we doing here? A lot of humans, I think, died. Tragic. Why do I have so many labs still? Do I need them? Labs and electronics of both. humans here too. Uh, the ore seems to be staying pretty steady I think here. I really don't have a vehicle lab anywhere. Jeez.
Okay, let's see who's who do we have at the beta asteroids right now? Beta three. Heart. Beta six. Six seven. Uh, we'll send one to five, maybe. Go for it. And hopefully that'll be good enough. Wow, look at that ore production. Holy crap. Actually, isn't that bad to play right now? Even though I'm just not feeling super great because it's just so chill. It feels pretty relaxing still. And this isn't super rad. This is just sort of busy work, but. time combat in the game and it's only very loosely even that make the citizens can't fight back and it's literally just click on things. Well, 
lot of science here. empty. A sign proclaims that it was once Habercrombie Industries manufacturing center for positronic brain filaments. Okay, we'll come back to H0. Unload, please. We need that precious life support. Aries. We haven't looked at Aries in a while. I don't think. I should probably be gathering science, but... Shuttle, you find a pilot's log. A meteor shower took out our oxygen plant. No place to run. Suspect the shower is caused by Hurrax speed ship. Seed ship. Not speed ship. It is a speed ship, I don't know. Let's see, and let's see if they're saying around 22. Trash. Uh, the label on it says it's from the Tantalus. Oh, a ship. A fire has gutted one of the Smythe refinery's transports. The hulk appears to have been salvaged already. science that we have to go get. Let's do that. Let's go to Thetis. Let's just collect all the science that we can. Physics. You determine that the surface has been continually bombarded with comets, but the heat from impacts melted the snow, yeah. I think we've read that before. Central here. Oops. She 
knowledge of you. Minor seismic tremors as the moon passes in and out of Poseidon's shadow. crystals here emit some radiation because the methane contains the carbon-14 isotope. I'm sure lots of things do and emit very, very small amounts of radiation. The methane lake has an icy surface the color of faded jade. Jade C from Guild Wars Factions. We're not going to find math anywhere. Moon tremors. composition of the alpha asteroids. Well, that's interesting. Uh, alpha asteroids were the ones that were formed by a planet blowing up, right? I think. Five or eight. This is 
gotta be beta 1 then, right? We've sent them everywhere else. Uh, let's see. Two turns. Bavi can support humans. Billy Base can support humans. I think those are the only ones with humans. Okay. So Bavi and Billy Base. Let's get these other ships straightened out. get to either of those. So, sure. Who else do we have? You. Transport to Billy Base. Smythe endorphins. Smythe and endorphins. 
Stephens. personnel. Okay. Probe. Military. Gamma one. Three people. Metallic asteroid is about 14 kilometers long. Uh, oh, it's about 14 kilometers along its long axis and six kilometers along its short axis. It is astonishingly rich, not only in iron but also in rare earth elements. Uh, it's denser than iron. The asteroid contains a huge amount of iron ore. It may be part of the iron core heart of a planet. Perhaps is one of the alpha asteroids that somehow managed to wind up in the beta asteroid belt. Extremely strong signals are being emitted somewhere from its surface. Um, now when I probed this, the navigator told me it was a spore ship, so... I'm not sure I'm supposed to know that yet, but whatever. to the non-terrestrial world. Our habitats are self-sufficient and can raise the crops we need to feed our people. Um, we specifically have to keep two colonies on the terrestrial, two habitats on the terrestrial world, so this, this is not possible. You're the one that told me that. We can continue bombing the hostile life forms with our ships, sir, but I don't think we can ever succeed in destroying them all by brute force. There must be something else we can do to stop the attacks. Any new technologies that will improve our spacecraft should be given first priority, sir. We can always use faster and more capacious ships. We should blast the hostile creatures out of existence. Yeah, yeah. It will be impossible to begin new colonies on Gaia and Rhea until we find some way to stop the beasts and plants from attacking us. Our factories and power plants should be upgraded as often and as quickly as possible. We need to make our colony self-sufficient, sir. If we had more manpower, we could attack... Okay. It seems the Tantalus scientists made a number of interesting discoveries. We should scout... Something must be controlling the movements of the attacking creatures, sir. Their attacks are too well-coordinated to be random. Yeah, pylons. The two terrestrial worlds, Rhea and Gaia, are the prime locations to search for any clues to the Tantalus's fate. 
I highly suggest getting some people and ships on any of the other nearby planets as soon as possible. We should find out what is controlling the attacking life form. The destruction the creatures are causing is considerable. All those resources wasted. Many outposts and other remnants of the Tantalus colonist must exist in this system. You should consider exploring all of the planets here thoroughly. Okay, okay. Is that close to the Vimbap? The Vimbap. We have an anti-meteor gun here. Parmesan. We have an anti-meteor gun here. I don't know if we need one here. But it can't hurt. missiles do we have? Nine. Let's get some vehicles. I think we need out four or five of them. Minchronic brains. Okay. That's a shame. Um, I guess surely I can change these.
could do it. I don't know if that makes any sense though right now. Uh, we're finally hemorrhaging ore here. Look at the number of robots this needs. Holy crap. Seems like our human numbers are slowly building up. a mass driver here. Alright. Sweet. Babby already has a mass driver. Good now I'm on the very bottom. Hello though. So basically, um, Earth picked a fight 
with the Centaurians from, I guess, Alpha Centauri, and our whole offensive fleet or whatever was destroyed. We got our asses kicked. So humanity and and the Centaurians were sending their fleet to go, you know, F us up. Uh, they were going on the offensive, we were going on the defensive. I guess Earth decided that they would lose, and so they sent out a bunch of, um, like, colony ships. The first, uh, one of the first ones sent out was the Calypso, which is our ship. We were sent to the Beta Cali system. There's another ship, the Tantalus, that was sent, like, a few years later, but had more advanced engines, and so actually ended up beating us to Beta Cali by, like, a significant margin. And they started building a colony, they dismantled the ships, built all over this whole solar system. Eventually, the Calypso got here, uh, and we had received, like, broadcasts telling us... Growing up. No, I have not. I'm, I've never heard of that game. Um, but we'd received broadcasts, you know, telling us, hey, there'll already be a big colony there. Uh, there's another ship that beat you there. And when we got here, there was no trace of any of it. So we're essentially trying to colonize the system from scratch and also find out what happened to the original Tantalus ship and their colonies. Oh, did I, pl did I play this growing up? Yes. If I understood your question again, yes. When I was quite, quite young. The Gamma-1 asteroid is truly an amazing discovery. It appears to have many artificial structures on it, but doesn't seem as if anyone has been near it in hundreds, if not thousands of years. I have isolated potential sources of interest, which can now be viewed using our ship's scanners. A complete report of the makeup of the asteroid can be found in your PDA library. There are a number of communication pylons on the surface. We might be able to destroy them to stop the signal, but we should probably... Uh, so, it's a little bit... There's like a SimCity-esque colony management um, aspect to this game. You start colonies, you build different types of building on them, and try and balance out power production, stuff like that. Um, and then there's uh, like weird ship exploration as well. Okay, so there's just a file on here. Speed running. I've never tried speed running anything. Um, I could probably do pretty well speed running Quake 2. That's about the only game that I think I even could speed run. Puzzle games? What sort of games? Like, um, point and click adventure games? Or, like, stuff like Myst? Or. The surface contains thousands of craters. The larger ones appear to have been created by meteor impact. The majority are small indents, which seem to have been caused by missile explosions. Okay. 
I love games like Half-Life 2 and Portal. I've watched speedruns of those. It's usually pretty, pretty neat how they do manage to break the game. What sort of games do you, uh, I guess, watch on Twitch? Oh, thank you! Very cool. Basically in this game, so where I'm at right now, on these two worlds, the um, sort of Earth-like worlds, all the animals are going insane, and I have to have these uh, force fields up at my colonies to try and protect them, but even that doesn't 100% stop the damage and losses. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out what's uh, sort of driving the animals insane. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, so I, I, I've not played a Mortal Kombat game in a astonishingly long time. Um, a very, very long time. But I am familiar with the characters. Uh, and, and yes, Raiden's very cool. He was always my favorite character to play in, in the old games. I think it's just the hat though. I really like the hat. <laughs> GTA? I didn't do much multiplayer GTA. I really liked the single player campaign. <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, I only ever button mashed, so <laughs> I probably couldn't couldn't play the new ones very well at all. Definitely not a not the sort of person who can remember all the moves or uh, think how to input them in the heat of the moment. I was more of a Tekken person back then anyways.
know, I play mostly uh, older games. Mostly shooters. Uh, stuff in the vein of um, Sin and Quake 2. But I do enjoy puzzle games and management games. So like those old uh, tycoon games, those are fun. Yeah, yeah, I definitely can. Uh, I'll probably just um, be doing some more casual though, like uh, maybe untrusted, I don't know. I probably won't be playing this tomorrow. Oh, well, thank you. It's it's nice to actually have someone to talk to. I, I do like talking to people. And so, uh, you know, just sitting here by myself feels a little bit bad, but it's always more fun when there's someone else. Uh, normally, though, I stream on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I don't normally stream on Wednesday. But because I had to cut today so short, I will be. Okay. There, one more. Oh, hey, Ace! Are you done streaming, Ace? Oh yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for, for chatting a bit. Cool. Looks like you got here just in time, Ace, so I'm not alone again. <laughs> Indeed. Very pog. that's controlling all the animals and driving them crazy. Just try and get a ship there to freaking explore it. I start destroying the pylons, it will activate the um, spore ship. What is this? You find the twisted remains of a gun turret. This seems to have been recently destroyed. Okay. Recently? How, how recent are we talking? Another pylon? Another pylon. Nope. Do you now? You find a small box which seems to be an intake valve of some kind. You take numerous photos of the box. Okay. Box selfies. The box 
Fox was an intake valve for scooping microscopic quantities of quarks from the interstellar medium. We think the process may improve our engine. Okay. I'm sure I don't have anywhere near enough stuff to research that, though. A cork box. Fine crystals. You gather several bags worth of the material. Jeez. The fine crystals we gathered at Gamma One show us how to improve the crystals we use in our lasers. We think we can restructure the bifocaline crystal to make it denser and thus a better medium for projecting laser. We don't even need laser beams for anything. Our scientists think we can come up with a way to stabilize antimatter so that it will not interact with positive matter in mutual annihilation. Captain, I believe we will shortly be able to construct a weapon of unfathomable power. Although morally opposed to the consequences of such a device, it is vital to our security to proceed immediately. <sighs> sure thing. All sorts of neat stuff here. A massive explosion occurred at this point. It was powerful enough to rip a hole in the metal surface. I'm not gonna have enough energy to get home soon. I should leave at least 1400, I think. Half explored it. Transport. Oh, we're screwed. We're too far away to send anything. We'll just leave it there for now. Stuff they want me to invent. Okay, so a battery laser crystal. A better some sort of weapon. Holy crap, that needs a lot of math. Guffy is running his new mathematical hypothesis through our computers as they become available. His absolute number theory may revolutionize mathematics. Now this is very cheap. Let's just go ahead. The Hurac technology we are researching is quite fascinating. They were somehow able to manufacture subatomic particles as desired at the gluon level via the small box we studied. We're learning new insights about gluons and how they work. Okay. Now, so these weapon things are going to take a long time. Oh well. I think those are the least fun sounding. found made by sorting on like the lowest <laughs> uh, streams. I'm apparently at the very bottom of the list. So. Yeah, 
Yeah. Feels bad. That's a pile on there. Is this a pile on? No. An interesting deposit of deep red stone catches your eye. It is sandstone of an unusual color. I think most of them are strictly necessary. But the more colonies I have running with, you know, fully operational, lots of buildings, then the quicker I'm getting resources. So uh, when I need those resources, I'll hopefully have them. The bimbap is good. Ooh, I can take Parmesan to the next level. Let's do it. Hey kid, you want some pixie sticks? I sure love pixie sticks. completely rebounded with our humans. That is lovely. But we're almost out of ore, which is not lovely in the slightest. This is Ali has ore again. share or are they just keeping the pixie six for themselves
remember what I'm even- Whoa, what is this symbol? You find what's clearly a doorway into the interior of the asteroid. A team has entered the asteroid and recovered some form of alien device. That's probably what I needed. We've received a report of a significant discovery on Gamma-1. The following video documents the retrieval of a memory storage device which contains some kind of message. an alien USB stick? Sir, our recent activity at that alien spaceship seems to have triggered a radio transponder somewhere on Ares. The signal is very weak. We must get a ship down to Meridian J along parallels 20 through 23. The signal bears the encoded signature of a UNS distress call, sir. Sweet. What's this? Pylon. Might as well just crash this ship. It can't get anywhere. Through my turns, I'll have a new ship. Ooh. Were they the like the little pixie sticks or the big like plastic straw ones? particularly smooth here. You brush away a few inches of space dust to find a transparent block made of black crystal. You take numerous pictures of the dark room behind the crystal glass. The pictures we took of the dark room on the Hirak ship show what appears to be a tiny furnace of some kind. We speculate it required a small but powerful source of energy. Continued analysis of the photos may give us more clues. find a tantalus excavation marker on the surface here. The label reads, To New Teos, Sector K-34 Gaia, immediately. This is our last chance to stop that signal. K-34. K-34. Okay, 
K34. If I keep saying it, I can't forget it. That's how it works, right? What was once a major Tantalus colony, you discover a computer with a relatively intact database. Nearby, you find a heavily pitted plaque bearing an alien language and a badly decomposed notebook showing a structure for deciphering the alien script. Why they're different colors. That's why they're different colors. And where else did we? We had to find something on Aries. What? You've eaten Pixie Six, so have you never looked at what you're eating? Oh. I'm a weirdo. I pour it out into my hand and then eat it instead of pour it directly into my mouth. I do that with, um, fun dip powder. I just eat the powder, and then I eat the, uh, white chalky thing afterwards, separately. <laughs> You've located a transponder station built by the Tantalus colonists. A weak signal fades out as your ship draws near. Only fragments of the signal can be interpreted. Believe object in the Beta Ast Tor 7 alien artifact. To translate a plaque, destroy when done. Uh, so, is translating this plaque going to be in here? Yes. Invent. Jeez, how long is that going to take? 40 turns. 40 turns, we might be. Oh, you eat the chalky thing first. What a monster. music.
we haven't even heard of Empience yet. Super neat thing. Yeah. A foul smelling sludge which serves no immediate purpose. So I can turn like sand into disgusting sewage. It's a very useful sounding. science we can. to crush my ship doing this. I should 
save my game. Is there the science here or is it just energy? It's just energy. Screw it. I'm out here looking for science. Physics. We do need physics, so. Okay, read meteorite. Aha! Uh -huh. This is exactly what I wanted. Smells like rotten eggs here. We did get a log that told us that they smell like rotten eggs here. It makes sense now. Sulfur compounds that mimic the structure of organic materials. How many did we find? Only five. some deserted buildings proclaims home of Abercrombie Industries Sulfurous Chemical Division. Sweet. Let's get some uh, robots. Pipeline. Calypso. Please send me 25 of your finest robots. Five of your best ring pops. So we're close. that we can. Upgrade. Upgrade. I should press on offline temporarily. 50 bucks? Did you take half dollars? <laughs> Puck normally cause uh, cost. Uh, 
Oh. Well, sounds like a bit of a ripoff then. Wouldn't you say? Where is the Gamma Asteroid? able to posit McGuffey's theorem. Unfortunately, the mathematic proof did not live up to our expectations in revolutionizing the structure of basic mathematics. Oh well. However, it is quite elegant. Four turns left. Okay, let's get the gluon box researched. spacecraft. We cannot use it in our spacecraft. All of these inventions, what a letdown. Construct a signal muffler. Do it. We definitely needed that. So let's see. Astronomy, electronics, chemistry. I'm gonna change some of my labs up. Ninety dollars. Oh, okay. Forty-four. That's not horrible. Let's go astronomy. Let's go electronics. Cool. We need more humans here. and we need to send a ship there. Getting that signal muffler. Where is it? 
50 more turns, jeez. Hey, this at least stopped the animals from attacking us. Beluga bots. Yeah. Let's go grab some humans. Some disgusting, smelly humans. Start setting up the Aegis. Oh, uh, it's not. I'm going to get off. I'm going to eat something, and then I don't know. I might take a nap or something. I'm. I don't know. It depends on how sick I'm feeling when I'm done eating. Uh, sorry, this was a short one. But thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling with me. I will stream something tomorrow, probably Untrusted, which is like a social deduction game. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It'll just be something casual to hang out with. Yeah, uh, oh, I should save. Oh, what the heck day is it? Is it the 25th? Maybe. 21, 25, 25. Cool. Yeah, later.